Got a case study for you. 33 year old male, competitive power lifter, injured his back last August during a triple back squat. Uh, hadn't had a history of this injury before. Noted just some pain in the lower right side, like lower erector area. He was actually peaking for a meet, so he had a meet about two weeks later. So he didn't pull back his training. He, he peaked right into the meet, still with a lot of discomfort, and kind of continued that trend up until this point. So it's almost been about a year now. Um, has a meet in three weeks. So he came to me to see if there's anything that we can do. The pain is uh, just kind of diffused right lower back and it's over the past year or so, it's trickled into the left hip. The trigger now is the deadlift. It's not the squat. It's the deadlift, anything over 75%. But for this guy, he deadlifts 600 pounds and he squats almost 600 pounds. So 75% is still a lot of weight. It's like 200 kilos. Um, and anything above that, he starts to get his familiar symptoms, but it's not enough to be a hindrance in regards to stopping him from training. And so he's just kind of pushed through. And, and with what we know about pain patterns and, and the conditioning response, sometimes the pain can then become sensitized. It, the, the pain signals can, the, the output of pain perception can kind of be um, a little hyper vigilant or hyper sensitive when we are continuously recreating the issue and then we kind of get bogged down mentally with that aspect and so it's this vicious cycle um, he's also mentioned that during deload weeks he would feel better so there's a dose response there but then he would because he would feel better that first week of training coming back from a deload would be pretty intense pretty hard and then in week two of the phase he would actually have a downtick in performance because he would be in more pain and so we actually want to inverse that a little bit and slow the progression of loading so that week one we want to leave some in the tank uh, but in regards to objective measures, his range of motion all checked out. Standing lumbar flexion, extension, side bending, all pain-free. Uh, supine hip range of motion testing, active, passive, re with resistance. Wasn't really able to recreate anything uh, that was of substantial note. And that makes sense because his symptoms really only come on when there's hundreds of kilos in his hand. Um, and back, back squat's only the problem when his hip, right, left hip or right upper back or lower back is already pissed off from deadlifting. So it's gonna be load management. Uh, he trains three days a week. I have a relationship with his coach. We, we're corresponding via email. And this athlete is on my retainer program. And so today was just about gathering information. So for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be monitoring him right through the meet and then past the meet, just gauging response to training. So we're gonna track uh, workload. We're gonna track intensities relative and absolute intensities from week to week hoping to manage his pain finding some pain thresholds hoping to manage his pain and still be able to push intensity so he has a decent performance at the meet we had the conversation it's not ideal to be peaking for a meet and to be rehabbing there's some give and take there so he understands that um, he only deadlifts once a week I may actually add in a, an RDL or some some type of hip hinge movement as a second day not to accumulate more fatigue or create soreness but almost as just a little touch point um, just to increase the frequency of that of that trigger just a little bit more so those tissues become hopefully become desensitized to that instead of only once a week it's almost like you're feeling the stimulus for the first time again in a rehab scenario so that's the plan right now we're kind of just gonna track it day by day uh, and see how it goes and I'll prescribe workload changes or, or exercises from there so we'll, we'll keep you guys posted on this stuff check out the clinical athlete forum we post cases like this all the time thanks guys